We're talking about something fun and different today, and that is because we are talking about Kajabi Podcast. It's something that I get asked a lot about since this feature was recently rolled out, and I think that we can answer a lot of questions today, as well as I'm gonna do some tutorials on how to use Kajabi Podcast and what that could look like for you. So let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today. And like I said, we are talking about Kajabi Podcast. This is a feature that was rolled out in 2021, and it's been something that I've had fun exploring as a Kajabi user, and I am so happy with all of the different products and services that they offer. You can go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Kajabi to test them out. There's gonna be a link in the video description, but um, it's just, it's a really cool product that they've put together. And so recently, a product that was mostly known for courses and coaching programs, they rolled out podcasts. But what's even cooler is they rolled out public and private podcast. So if you wanna know a little bit more about what a private podcast is and how you could use it for your next launch, make sure you listen to this podcast episode right here of The Profit Podcast, where I go into detail of four reasons that I think you should use a private podcast in an upcoming launch, whether it's for a course, a coaching program, whatever the case may be, I have learned a lot in using a private podcast for one of my own launches, as well as being a buyer from someone else's private podcast. So they work, absolutely. But I wanna show you actually in Kajabi what this looks like. So let's go to the computer and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So I launched my very first private podcast in October, 2021. It's something that I really wanted to see, one, if I could do it, what the results would be, and I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into how other people could use this in their future launches. So with Kajabi, all you do is you sign into your Kajabi account, and under products, you have the option for podcast right here. So whenever you click on that link, you'll be open to this product menu right here. But because I already have two podcasts in here, this is what you'll see. If you don't have anything, it will just simply say add new podcast. And so what's really cool about this is I could click into my private podcast for my workshops. It's very short. It's nothing that's overly complex or complicated. There's three episodes here. And what I did is I created a private podcast where I could really engage with the people that are most interested in what the private podcast is about. It's another reason why I think that it's so cool to test and experiment with how I can use this so I can help and teach other people how this is done. But a private podcast as part of your launch can work really, really well. And it's a really cool feature. So to set this up, I'm actually gonna back out of this and show you how I made this happen. Um, but I wanted to really go in real fast and show you what this looks like from the perspective of seeing it on a page. So I'm gonna go over here and click preview and it's gonna open up in another tab and it's gonna be the web page that you would see. So the design of the podcast page is super simple. I created the artwork here in Canva. It's just called the Limited Series Podcast Workshops, and it's a private podcast. And I kept everything super simple because one, I didn't really know what I was doing, and this was a big test to see how well this would work with my audience and with this specific launch of these mini workshops that I did. But also, I just wanted to see how everything worked, like what was the workflow of how everything was gonna go down. And then I kept everything super simple. It was just titled episode one, two, and three. And all I did was I had the link for people to sign up on every episode. So um, what you can do is I'm gonna click on this episode three right here, and it would take me to an individual page where I could listen to it. So I could tell my audience, okay, well you can listen right on your desktop, but what's really cool is you can actually go into your phone and you can share the instructions with your audience on how to use a private podcast and get it added 
to Apple Podcast and Google Podcast, which is really cool. I'm actually gonna have another video on how to do this step by step, but for today, I just want you to know that that is an option with a private podcast. So let's go back out. I'm gonna go to the behind the scenes, what you can see here. And here are my downloads. It's not earth shattering numbers, but again, this is a private podcast for those that are most interested in this specific product. And because people had to opt in, I could email these people directly because now they're on my email list. They opted in, they listened to the podcast, and I can see, okay, like this person is listened to all the episodes, so now I could reach out to them and see if they would be interested in buying or see if they would be interested in another offer that's further down the road that's related to what I was doing during this launch. So a lot of cool things to consider, a lot of fun things to think about. But I want to go over here and just show you how simple it is to add a new episode. So I'm gonna click on new episode. I could title this one episode four. This is an episodic podcast, which means that it just has multiple episodes. It's not a series where you have to start on season one, episode one. People could listen to it in any order if they wanted to, but uh, I could select whether it's an episode, a bonus, or the trailer. For this particular private podcast, I didn't do a trailer because I'm going to be taking this down after the workshops are done because this is just part of the launch. It's going to be unpublished very soon, and so um, I just don't need it to be there. And then I could just upload a file. Now, one thing to note whenever you're working with Kajabi Podcast is they, for now, are only accepting formats in MP3s. The reason why I bring this up is because whenever I podcast, I typically save everything as a WAV file and not as an MP3. So it's just something to consider if you are going to record your podcast using Hindenburg, Audacity, GarageBand, any of those, you wanna make sure that you export it as an MP3 and not as a wave. That way you don't have to convert it later to upload it to Kajabi and make it all work together. So uh, you could select whether it has explicit content or not, and then you would add the episode. But because this is an active podcast right now, as I'm recording this, I'm just gonna click exit. But then it would just be uploaded like this, and then you would have the option of publishing it or saving it as a draft. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I'm gonna click on edit details. And now, even though this episode is out there and it's already published, I could still change the like things around. If I wanted to change the episode title, if I wanted to change this to the trailer episode, if I wanted to create a season of, you know, like, oh, we'll listen to season one first. Or if I wanted to add on to this later, I could have season one for this launch and season two for another launch. There's a lot of different things that you can do with this. Um, I could come over here and add a particular episode thumbnail, or this is what you would call like your episode cover art for this specific episode. Again, I was doing bare bones with this launch and I just wanted to figure out if this is something that would be something I wanna teach and help other people with in the future. Um, so I didn't do a lot of graphics and a lot of customization. I just wanted to do this as simple as possible. But if you wanted to, you could absolutely upload every single episode uh, thumbnail if that's something you wanted to do with your marketing. And then come down here, and this is what it looks like, your audio file, whenever it's uploaded, it's real simple, but it's very uh, sleek is the right word I was looking for, because you have your episode artwork as well as the title of the podcast and the episode number, and then you could just play it right here to listen to what it, to what it sounds like. You could also come down here and add episode chapters. Again, I didn't do that, but uh, it's cool to know that it's there. But what I also like about it is you can add hyperlinks. So if you're doing a private podcast and you want to launch something, right? You're trying to send someone to a sales page or maybe a webinar, or you want them to go do something else, whatever your call to action is, you have the option right here to add that HTML code and have a link right there within the episode. Uh, coming down here, you have an option to add a transcription for your private podcast. Again, I did not have that because this was a bare bones launch, but I think that it's cool that they have it. It is a TXT format. 
Sometimes transcriptions, like the ones that I use, are typically exported as an SRT file. So it's just good to know exactly what's expected. That way you don't have to backtrack and redo a bunch of work uh, because it was formatted in the wrong way. So I think that it's really important you kind of walk through these steps first to see how you would use this and what you would need to do. So I didn't change anything. Uh, I could just click save here. I could actually come over here and unpublish this episode if I didn't want it to be out there anymore, but I still want it to be there. So uh, I'm actually gonna click back and not save. That way I don't mess anything up. But uh, again, that, so that's basically a private podcast in a nutshell. This is tied to an offer because I wanted to have a, um, an opt-in form to set this up. So I have an opt-in form in Kajabi, and then once they opt in, they are given access to this offer. If you're familiar with Kajabi, all of this will make sense. If you're not, I recommend going through Kajabi's help resources. That way you can understand more about how you can tie in an offer to an opt-in. But let's go back out to podcast. And this is the other podcast I wanted to point out. Now there's nothing here, okay? There's nothing here for the Profit Podcast, for or the Profit Podcasting, the podcast. This is my course. I do eventually plan to have audio files for the uh, Profit Podcasting, which is my course. You can check it out here as well as in the video description, but I don't have anything there right now, but this will also be a private podcast. It will not be a public podcast. And this is what I wanted to bring up next because people are asking me all the time, Kajabi now has podcast. I'm already paying for it. Should I move my podcast over? Well, I think that it is a fantastic platform and I think it's a, it's a great product that they've developed. I am not moving all of my podcasts to Kajabi right now. And the main reason why is because I use Buzzsprout and they already have the magic mastering dynamic content as well as the monetization tools that I use currently. And I don't want to give those up just yet, but I do see Kajabi as a public podcast forum getting better and better as time goes on. So I just wanted to give you my honest opinion. I don't have my other podcast hosted here, but that's the main reason. Plus I'm a Buzzsprout partner and I have been using them since day one. And I think that their product is just something that I'm more comfortable with right now. So if you did want to add a public podcast, I want to walk through those steps and show you how that's done. So we're going to go over to new podcast to create a public one. And um, if you already have an existing podcast, you can go to import. But for those of you that are just starting with Kajabi, we're going to do this first. So go to new podcast. And this is where you can decide whether you wanna have a public podcast that's free and operates just as it would with any other hosting company, or a private podcast where you would sell it with other offers. This is what you would use if you were setting up a private podcast like what I just showed you for my workshops where it's just part of my lead magnet to get people excited, but it's gonna come down with my launch or when my launch is over, or the private podcast that I have for my profit podcasting students. Totally up to you on how you want that to happen. I'm just gonna click free only. And we're gonna call this test podcast hosted by me, Crystal Profit. And then this is the test description of this podcast. I'm just putting something in there. I'm gonna click continue and it's saying, hold up, wait a minute, you gotta have a thumbnail in order to continue. So I'm gonna click choose thumbnail from a recent file. I'm just gonna select something that's in my Kajabi already. Okay, I know that this isn't really a good like podcast artwork, but it is just a graphic that I selected. So now it's gonna ask me like, what is your email? There's my email. What English or what language is going to be spoken? It's English. Which category? Now, if you're setting this up, then you could select whichever category works for you. I could just select business. Is it going to be episodic or in serial order? This is what we were kind of talking about earlier. 
I want people to listen to my podcast whenever they find it. I'm not worried about someone starting at a particular episode, um, but if you have a serial podcast, which means you gotta hear episode one before you listen to episode five, otherwise you're gonna miss out a lot of things, then you wanna select serial order. But I'm just gonna select episodic for this example, and I'm gonna click create podcast. Now I would go through all the different um, steps that I already showed you where I would add episodes and make sure that everything was good to go. I would name everything. I would add the episode numbers, the titles. I could add the individual artwork if needed. So let's go back and I'm going to show you, see it's right here. It's under test podcast. Now, if I wanted to change this, um, here's the other information that would be here. I could put copy copyright profit media. This is my company. And then if I wanted to replace the thumbnail, this is where I would do it. Um, so the business category, I could select entrepreneurship as another one. I could select marketing. This isn't really a podcast, but you know, you get the idea and I'm gonna click save. So that's how you edit the details once it's there. And then from here, you can see where it says distribution. So for distribution, I'm gonna click on that and it says make sure your RSS feed is valid. You must have at least one episode published before you can distribute. Since this is a test podcast, we're not doing that, but you can see the RSS feed is actually right here. But I wanted to go to Apple Podcasts. You would go through the setup to make it happen. And for same for Google Podcasts and Spotify, this is where all of your podcasts are going to be distributed when you're hosting your podcast with Kajabi. So let's go back out and I'm gonna show you one last thing and that is how to import your podcast if you already have it hosted in another place. Okay, for the purposes of this video and all these tutorials, I deleted the one that we just did and I'm actually gonna go back and select import podcast to show you how that's done. So I'm gonna go to new podcast, import a podcast, and I need my podcast RSS feed to make this happen. So I'm gonna go grab that so I can show you how this works. So like, tell me you're a podcast coach without telling me you're a podcast coach. I have just like a test sandbox podcast <laughs> that I'm messing around with. So that's the RSS feed that I'm gonna add here. I didn't wanna break anything of my other podcasts while I'm doing this test. So I'm gonna click continue. So I tried to get my test one to work and it wouldn't work because it's not actually fully set up. So I am just playing around with the potty report. I'm not actually going to import it, but this is what you will see whenever you are importing your podcast. So here's the artwork, here's the details, and I already have 423 episodes. So I would click the import podcast button and it would be set up just like the other podcast that I've already showed you. But this is really interesting. I think Kajabi is onto something with their podcasting platform. And again, you can try them out. Go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Kajabi if you are thinking about using course products, coaching, if you are looking for a platform that's all in one with coaching courses, email provider, or any of the above, I highly recommend checking out Kajabi because it's a product that I've really enjoyed over the last few years that I've been using it. And I love that they're adding podcasts to the mix because it just makes it that much more exciting. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this full tutorial about private podcast, public podcast, importing podcast, all the things. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or wanna see more about using Kajabi podcasts, especially the private ones. I think that we're gonna have some more information about upcoming launches and what that can look like. But that's all I have for you today. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe below, that way you don't miss our future videos all about podcasting and running your online business. Make sure you check out these other videos right here all about podcasting and running your online business. And as always, remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.